depressing news. Uh, Chile, Chile, which has one of the freest economies in the world, a top 20 economy, sometimes a top 10 economy in terms of freedom. Chile, who has gone since the early 1980s till today, over the last 40 years, from the poorest country in Latin America on a GDP per capita basis to the wealthiest country in Latin America on a GDP per capita basis, I just elected a real socialist, a, a pretty radical socialist, as president. Now, this in spite of the fact that in the midterm, in the, in the, uh, two months ago, in the um, elections for the parliament, the, uh, the, the center right did very well. So it, it's going to be interesting, like the interplay now. But uh, in a battle between Gabriel Boric, who's young, 35 years old, very cool, I hear, uh, very socialist, in an alliance with the Chilean Communist Party, uh, committed to rolling back almost all the reforms that made Chile wealthy, that made Chile successful. Uh, committed, committed to rolling back one of the great achievements in economics, politi in political economy of the last 40 years, which is the privatization of social security in Chile. Chile has a private social security scheme. And he is now committed to rolling that back, to eliminating that, to putting it back into the hands of government, which is, it's hard to express the extent to which that is tragic, horrific, um, uh, disturbing, disgusting. So the private pension system, which was privatized by the brother of the current president of Chile decades ago, the new president is committed to doing away with that. And the Chilean people have voted for this. Now, part of the problem is, part of the problem is that the person he ran against in the election was a white right-wing religious nationalist, narrow-minded conservative, rightist, who actually on several occasions has expressed longing for the dictatorship of Pinochet. So you have uh, two candidates, a, a, a right-wing nut, who, who Catholic, very religious, re-established a lot of the restrictions on individual liberty, who admires Pinochet, a brutal dictator, who happened to have the right economic policies almost by chance, or a leftist Marxist, young, cool, hip, who's promised to be moderate, but is going to undo all the stuff that led to Chile's prosperity. Who do you vote for? And then in this case, I probably would have voted for the religious nut if I was in Chile. Uh, but this is the impossibility of left versus right. Suicide by collectivism on the left or suicide by collectivism on the right. Choose your poison. Choose how you want to die. This is why we have to fight collectivism of left and of right. This is why our only hope globally is to resurrect a classical liberal or free market right. And if we don't, then we'll be left in situations where we have to choose between crazy collectivists of the right or crazy collectivists of the left. And sometimes we'll choose the crazy collectivists of the left and we'll die that way. And sometimes we'll choose the crazy collectivists of the right and we'll die that way. But we are positioning ourselves to where all our choices are evil. And when you 
I'm talking to you who know who I'm talking about. When you support the crazies of the right, when you rally around the crazies of the right, the collectivists of the right, you are responsible for these crazy, nutty choices. I mean, given Trump's first four years, he should have been challenged by a Republican and he should have been, somebody else should have run in this instead of him in 2020 and beaten Joe Biden. But it's because he's so popular among Republicans. Nobody did it. Nobody would have won. And thus, we're stuck with Joe Biden. And, of course, here I'm talking about the, the midterms again, the, the 2024 election. There better be somebody better than Trump on the ballot. And again, otherwise you're stuck with choices like Chile. And what, I, what, what, what happens is, what we're getting today is, the left becomes more left, the right becomes more right in a collectivist sense. And you're stuck with two bad options. And that's what we got in Chile. So it's, it's really bad news in Chile. I, I visited Chile for the first time in, um, when was it? In 2019, before COVID. I was looking forward to going back. I was planning to go back in 2020. Uh, it is, it is a, a, a wonderful country, beautiful country. And it's a country that has done phenomenally well under somewhat free market policies. But it is an example of where if you don't defeat Catholicism, if you don't defeat religion, if you don't defeat altruism, it's really hard to hold on to freedom and capitalism. Fundamentally, religion is antagonistic to freedom, antagonistic to capitalism. And you see it in Latin America, they, they, may, they take two steps towards free markets, and then their religiosity kicks in and they back off towards the socialism, which was much more consistent with their religion. And you see it everywhere. And, and Latin America is a truly sad place as a consequence. I, I think I've told you this. Uh, you know, Argentina in 1914 was as rich as America. 1914. I mean, America was pretty rich on a capita GDP, maybe the richest in the world. And, and Argentina was just below. And since then, Argentina today has, I don't know, 20%, 15% of the GDP cap, per capita of the United States. Bad policies, bad governance has horrific consequences. Yeah. As, as we know, when we see Venezuela and yet a number of Latin American companies from Ecuador, to, uh, to Chile are trying to become the next Venezuela. Become the next Venezuela. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.